guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie, and I'm a stay-at-home mom of four. I also run the budget shop, Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy, or also on my website, purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash setting method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you like to follow along with, just keep watching. in today's video I'm going to be stuffing my month ahead binder. If this is the first video of mine you've watched, welcome. On this channel I like to do a lot of cash stuffings, cash unstuffings, cash condensings, and saving challenges. So if you like cash budgeting content, tips, and tricks, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I'm hoping to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Right now I'm approaching 700. Once I reach 700, I plan on releasing another bundle of challenges um, to my freebie file. If you haven't checked out my freebie file, it should be linked below. On there, you'll find the two freebies that I've already put out there. I've put my um, monthly cupcake challenge and then um, six of my color and save challenges for some new bundles that I've released to my Etsy shop. Um, two of them I haven't released quite yet. That's my fairies and my hummingbirds. Those should be coming soon. Um, life's just really crazy. I'm balancing trying to fill orders, film YouTube, and then also take care of my four crazy kids. So it can get a little crazy over here. So sometimes those things slip through. If you are interested in either one of those bundles and they're not listed, shoot me a message on Etsy. That's usually enough to prod me along to kind of like get it taken care of. Um, so yeah. Also, if this is the first time you're watching my Month Ahead series, I figured I'd kind of give you a rundown of what to expect. This is my light purple Alana binder. I also have this binder in navy, black, um, a light bluish gray red and green. I'm also going to be bringing a binder similar to this to my Etsy shop um, in the A7 size. So the smaller size, the difference is it's not going to have just like a uh, strap closure like this. It's going to have an entire flap that closes. It's also going to have um, two uh, hook rings that you can attach a chain so that if you want to wear it like a clutch or like a purse, you can do that as well. Um, I can't wait to get those in and once I do, I'll definitely kind of give you like an overview of all the design features that I chose to kind of customize it and make it something that I'm really proud of. Um, I am going to be bringing one more additional color in that um, size. It's going to be the hot pink, so I'm really excited to bring that to my shop. So definitely keep an eye out for that. That should be coming soon. Um, I have already placed the order, so it's in production. So I'm just waiting for them to arrive. So I think that's all kind of about the Alana collection. I got a little sidetracked there. Sorry about that. Um, so anyways, this is my purple Alana binder. It's in an epi leather, which I absolutely love, which is why I'm super excited to continue on the collection with the additional sizes. I also have my purple double pocket um, tabbed envelopes. Now this is a custom color, so I don't know that you'll find another shop that has this specific color. So I'm really excited about that. I also paired it with my um, custom foil tabbed labels. So if you need labels for these types of envelopes, you can find a listing for that on my shop as well. Don't worry. This is not real ID and credit cards. It's just fake ones that I put in there to take pictures. I just haven't gotten around to taking it out. That just kind of shows you how crazy my life is. Um, and then in here, I have the six categories that I like to try to get a month ahead. I have my mortgage, card payment, insurance, utilities, phone, and internet. Phone and internet are already fully funded. So you'll see those fully funded placeholder tabs or placeholder slips. So that lets me know that I don't need to stuff them anymore. So we're going to continue working on these four categories. Um, and then once I'm a month ahead, I'll either try to get two months ahead or switch my savings goal to somewhere else. So that's just kind of a rundown of this. Um, so what I will do is I'll take these and I'll lay them out and then I'll roll a six sided day to tell me where to put the money. Um, so for my, since there's only four that I'm stuffing still, I take my mortgage and my car payment tracker and then put those to the side so that way they have two slots to pull from. And so we go from there. So let's go ahead and get the cash counted and then we can kind of get into the actual business of doing this. Yeah, I'm going to count the cash before I get this crazy. So, and then there's a little something different about this one. Um, as you'll notice, I have quite a bit more than I normally have. Normally I'm stuffing $105 in the month ahead savings. Hold on. There, I just want to be able to still see the binder. There we go. Um, but this week I am stuffing 435, 330. We're not going to let the dice tell us where to put it. I'm going to put it somewhere. Um, we got our gap insurance refund on our Explorer that we traded in for our new expedition. So I want to go ahead and take that money and put it to work for getting our car payments a month ahead. So I'm going to put 330 of this directly towards car payment and then the rest of it, the dice will decide. So let's go ahead and count this to make sure it's here, make sure we have $435. So 
20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, and then 30. So this is a 330 that I'm going to put into carving mitt. So then this should be 105. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. It's all here. So before I get into the craziness, I'm going to take this and take care of the car payment just to get that out of the way. So car payment has each icon is worth 30. So I have 330 here. So that's going to be 11. So let me cross those out before I confuse myself. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And since this all takes care of those icons, I'm going to put this inside the actual envelope. And then we'll count and organize that later once we get to doing the rest of it. So you'll see some cash floating around in the front pockets of the envelopes. These are just the dollars that are left over that don't take care of an icon. So let me put this back into car payment and then let's get the envelopes out we need. So we do not need phone and internet. So those will stay in here. And then let's lay these out. Just doing them randomly. Sorry, my watch is going off. You guys are ordering for me and it's distracting me because it vibrates anytime you guys place an order. So I'm like checking out. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And it's orders from you guys. So that's awesome. So, okay. So I stole the trackers I need. These, these, these are really bulging. So, um, I definitely foresee a condensing coming up here soon and may not be as exciting as my more recent ones, which have been quite significant, but I need to thin these out because this is getting a little crazy. I mean, I know I just put a bunch in there, but still mortgage is also kind of crazy. So let me, I like to mix this up. I don't really have a lot of room and I don't want to screw things up when it comes to my envelopes. So I'm going to try to mix this up as neatly as I can. So sure, that's nice. Okay. So it's just a little added extra randomization to my stuffings. So I'm going to move this out of the way and let's pull this in and let's get to rolling. So two, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. I'm getting really excited. Things are really coming together. It seems like we are going to be um, doing our sighting. So I'm still working with our contractor. Um, he's got to finalize some things with our insurance company. We've picked the color out. So I'm really excited. Um, I might insert a picture of like a rendition of what our house looks like right now. Now it's not our exact house, but it's a very similar looking house. And then what it's going to look like with our new setting. So that way you guys can kind of have a sneak peek since I've been talking about it so much. So I might insert that here. Um, otherwise I might put it on the community tab sometime. I'm just really excited because we're going from a beige color to blue. So we have done a lot of work to make this house our own because it's just crazy what this house looked like when we bought it versus what it looks like now. I mean, I literally don't think that you could recognize it um, from what it was when we bought it because it was very like warm tone and me and my husband are more like full tone people. So it's like completely different. And now that we're doing the siding, it just is like that final piece that we need to do. So I'm really excited. So that's awesome. Um, the other good news is so our siding contractor did scale the roof and take a look and our roof is actually in really good shape. So that's really exciting. Like, I don't know how our shingles ended up surviving the hailstorm we had. Um, the roof inspector that got out there, he was shocked even. Um, the first inspector, like they refused to give us any of the pictures. So I had no idea what was going on up there. And I'm like, it's just really weird that you're finding all this damage to the vents up there, but like no shingle damage. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, if he had showed us the pictures, it would have been fine, but it's like, was a lot of hush hush and like secrets and stuff. So I was really happy to have our um, siding contractor have his roof guy go up there. And he said, yeah, I'm shocked how nice your shingles look. He's like, if I didn't know better, they like almost factory new. So that was really nice it's not that I like absolutely wanted a new roof I just if our roof was in bad shape I wanted it to be replaced 
So um, that's good because I was not looking forward to having siding and our roof done. I mean, my in-laws just recently did it, but I was not wanting that. So that's exciting. So I asked him, like, okay, I'm not going to hold you to it, but like, what are your thoughts? Like, how long do you think our roof is going to last up there? And he's like, in ideal conditions, you probably have another 10 years. Um, if we get some bad storms, it might shorten it to five years. Either way, that's a significant amount of time that it gives us time to kind of like start saving up for that for if and when that needs to be replaced. So I don't know what special thing happened with our roof, but like every single house surrounding us practically has new roofs. So somehow ours has withstand the test of time. So I'm really very thankful for that because I did ask him like, okay, so has the previous owner potentially replaced it or are those original shingles? And he's like, no, it looks like they're original because I lift them up and then the paint, it matched perfectly like when they painted the vents or whatever. So he's like, I'm, I would be very shocked if these are new. I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. That's fine. I just was asking because, um, the previous homeowner, when we had an inspection done, the furnace coil had some rust on it. And so our inspector, um, made own of that. And we had no idea, but she had, um, as a response to that completely replaced the furnace. Cause I guess she was like really just wanting to get this house done and over with, cause it'd been sitting on the market for a while. So we like literally had no idea cause we didn't request to have it replaced. We just pointed that out and wanted it dealt with. So she like completely replaced the furnace. So that was interesting. And speaking of home inspectors, just kind of fun fact, um, our home inspector was actually the, um, Congress shooter. That was like the weirdest thing when all that was going down. Like they were showing his like picture and his name because he's from the area. And I turned to my husband like, um, that was our home inspector. And he's like, no, it wasn't. So I pulled up our home inspection report and it was. So that was crazy. He was, he was very, very creepy. Um, needless to say after our inspection, I told our, um, real estate agent because he was cracking all kinds of like lewd and insidious jokes which I mean whatever if you're friends with someone that's fine but to do that in a professional setting is not very professional so we told our like um realtor about that and so that guy had come off their preferred list but yeah he was he was very creepy so anyways um it looks like I've allocated all of my cash so let me go ahead and get this organized so this is car payment which I think it's here and then this should be mortgage and then insurance and then utilities perfect I have like a mound of cash and it's gonna fall all over the place hopefully it stays up okay we'll just pull car payment down too because that one is a bit of a mess okay so let's start with mortgage so let me open up our binder and let's see what we have here so for our first round we got 10 20 30 5 6 7 8 so we almost had enough to do one icon so one two let's let's just count it all and then figure out what we want to do okay so I have 10, 20, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 1, 2. I'm just trying to get as much of my like crazy amounts of cash inside the envelope. So let's count and make sure this is 40. 10, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Okay, perfect. And then we'll tuck this behind where the tracker would go and then I'll count that again as well. So we have one icon, which is nice. And then let's see how much we have in total. Cause this should definitely not, yeah, this is 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is definitely not anywhere close to enough. So let's put this tracker back here and then let's count. I briefly scanned that tracker enough. I think we should have, I can't do math. It's 16, whatever 16 times 40 is. I cannot math right now. <laughs> My brain is like dead. Okay. Yeah, this definitely needs to be condensed. So we have 500 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100. So that's 600. 5, 10, 15, 20, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Does that make sense? What's 16 times 40? 16 times 40. I can't see. So 500. So 500, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Perfect. 640, which is 16 times 40. So that is great. And this definitely needs condensed because this is getting really thick. So I will be condensing this. I'll put the mortgage in here. Okay. And let's see. In this first round, we have, I think we have enough. Let's get the 10 here. So we have 10, 15, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nope, almost. So we have 10, 25, 35, six, seven, eight, nine, 41. So 10, 15, 25, one, two, three, four, five. So hold on. 10, 15, 25, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. So 30. And then let's mark off another car. And then let's see what we have left. So I have 10, 15, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So I have another icon. So let's scratch off another icon. And then this envelope is going to be a mess. So let's kind of get this cash organized. So here's the bunch of 20s and then a 10. And then another 20. And some 10s. Okay. I'm a 10. So I think I have all the 20s out. I have all the 10s out, so then let's go with the 5s. And then I think I have a 5 here. And then I think I have all the singles. So now the cash is somewhat in order for counting. So in this definitely needs to be connected. 100, 200, 300, 400 in placeholders. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 970. Is that 870? So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 29 times 30. Hold on. 29 times 30. Yep, 870. That checks out. I'm just kind of double checking these as I go just to make sure that there's nothing off with them because I want to do a condensing and then those can become a complete and utter hot mess. So the more I can be organized for that, the better. go. Oh, this is getting really thick. So am I going to be able to snap this? That is the question. I think I will because I love my Alana binder and it seems to be pretty helpful. For some reason I like to tuck my trackers in there sometimes. I don't understand. So this is insurance. So insurance is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and five is 12, so that's not enough. 13, 14, 15, 16. So let me count this again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm gonna put this one to the side because we're gonna probably come back to it because we're close. I'm gonna make it happen. So let's see how utilities is first. So $4 for utilities, six, so we're just going to leave utilities and I guess I'll just take it from utilities, which is fine because utilities is really far off from being able to um, put cash in there. So we'll take the four and put it to car insurance. 
and then this should be 20. So it's not actually car insurance. This is all of our insurance. So it's car insurance, life insurance, um, personal articles insurance, and then we have an umbrella policy. It just, I made this for someone and it said car insurance and I forgot to change it when I made it. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. And we're getting through an entire row. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 times 20 is 400 if I can do math. We'll see if I can do math. So it's like all fives and then a one if I remember. Yeah. So let's tuck the five in here. My watch is really going off. So it'll be interesting to see what that is. It might be you guys favoriting things, which I love that too. So 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Perfect. So it's 400, so I can math. And tuck this in. So there we go. And we are good there. So let's put this all in here. And then moment of truth, does it snap? And it's a tight fit, but it snaps. So common theme, when it's bulging like this, I know it's definitely time to do a condensing. I mean, look at all of that cash. That's what I love about my envelopes, that they can withstand so much like stuffing. Because I'm just too crazy when it comes to shoving my stuff, my, um, envelopes full of cash for the handmade ones. I've made them and they just don't stand up, at least the ones that I make. So I love um, these factory made envelopes. So anyways, I was really rambly today. So thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.